are we feeling the Brexit blues here in Spain? Um, I'm going to talk from my own perspective. Um, first thing is, there, although a lot of people will bring up the Brexit, it's more a case of they just want to know what, what's going on. Uh, I don't think anybody's really stressed about it, they're just more concerned about it. Because um, you've got to think about the... that's the one-way street. Okay. Um, you've got to think about the fact that the retirees are probably the ones that are worried most because of the pension issues and the healthcare issues. Um, because I know private healthcare, if, you, if you're not paying into the system early on, it's no doubt going to be expensive. You know, if you're going to have to get private healthcare, I know that could be a concern. But I also know that the NHS doesn't want these people back anyway. I mean, I'm not being funny. I don't know how many thousands of British expats that are just in Spain that may require medical treatment. Uh, that's a good move. Yeah, just don't look where you're going, whatever you're doing, mate. Um, I don't know how many actually need medical treatment, but a bit of common sense injected rather than, yeah, let's wave the British flag nonsense. Um, it's actually cheaper to keep them in Spain. No, some people go, oh, well, it's taking jobs from British people in the NHS, you know, um, well, what you mean, those Filipino nurses and the Spanish doctors and the Iranian doctors and the Indian doctors, you mean those people? Um, it's not. <laughs> it's not taking any jobs from the UK whatsoever. Uh, if anything, I would just leave the retirees to come here. One of the things I would actually, you know, if, if I was actually in power, which I'm not, is I would actually look at maybe even having some government funded hospitals if it was that much of a concern. You know, British hospitals in Spain. But the reality is, they don't want this headache. The NHS is a failing business. Never mind, um, never mind the trying to get Spain to deal with it for them. So it just makes sense to get rid of it. And I know some people go, oh yeah, the NHS, best in the world, all this. Stuff. I'll tell you what, I worked in the NHS and it's got money hemorrhaging all over the place. It's not the best in the world and it's certainly wasting a lot of money a, a lot of the time. And nobody really wants to fix the problems, nobody wants to admit there's problems. So that's just a, a, utter nonsense. It's a bit like saying that we've got the best car in the world, can we just keep throwing money at it? Um, whether it's running or not, that's that's the NHS. And uh, it's not just a case of opinion, it's the stuff I've had to deal with over the years. Um, but also, beyond the healthcare, why shouldn't people be allowed to retire in Spain? <laughs> and Spain has only become a media focus because there's a lot of expats here. But there's the entire planet there's expats everywhere. The only reason the fo focus is on this is to do with the healthcare system, because I know in the Philippines we deal with our own healthcare. Um, outside the EU, maybe that'll disappear, but maybe at the same time, a lot of these people cannot go back to the UK. The houses have devalued, the houses in the UK are still up in value, so they've got negative equity in Spain and they can't afford to buy anywhere in the UK because A, they're, they're getting on a bit so the chance of being able to pay a mortgage off in a short period of time because that's what the banks will want won't be a reality so you're going to make them homeless instead um, I think a lot of this stuff hasn't been thought out very well and that's the sad thing because that's where the problems are. It's a lot of it has been the old flag waving and oh well, you know, these foreigners can all go back to their countries and where are you? Oh, well I live in Spain half the year. So you're a foreigner in somebody else's country but that's okay because you're British. Um, 
a lot of that stuff goes on and you're just thinking does anybody actually sit there and think this stuff through where's the common sense in a lot of it um, I can understand the frustrations relating to corruption I can understand the hypocrisy of the EU Parliament but I would also say that a lot of the problems we've had in the EU are not because of the EU as a whole it's poor representation by our own politicians they've had power they've had seats in the EU and they've done nothing with them um, I know some people are going to say well some of them have done some work well I don't care about some of them I'm talking about all of them because as a collective they've they've had a lot of ability to do a lot for the UK and simply haven't um, you know when you see things like I think it was Panorama where they're all monitoring people coming in signing in and then going back home uh, so they can book their expenses for the week and they're staying at their apartments or whatever and they're not actually turning up to a parliament that's exactly what's wrong with the not the EU but British politicians those guys should be jailed for fraud I don't care what anybody says that's where the problem is these people get away with it in the UK and they get away with it in the EU Parliament and ultimately that's the problem leaving the EU is not going to fix that the MPs just sit and laugh at the general public going you know what you can sit and argue whether you're pro or anti of this but we'll just sit and take as much money as we like for ourselves and keep the old jobs for the boys um, and I think that's the reality so if I got Brexit blues answers no I think it's business as usual for a lot of these guys um, there'll be all these new jobs created for them uh, I do think that there's been a lot of tension created which simply doesn't need to be there and I do think that if anything's going to come out of this is the taxpayers will be worse off um, the pensions and whether people have a right to health care it's part of the EU so I think if that that goes it could actually have some problems for people in Spain but for people like myself I'm not fussed you know we have like I said we've got private health care anyway but um, I still pay into the I mean that's the thing if you're still sort of in and out the EU there's still a lot of things that could go on because I'm not sure how many people actually live in Spain that work in the UK for example because they have um, a different type of contribution as well that gives them coverage for healthcare in Spain so there's a lot of stuff that is basically going to unravel with this um, Brexit and I'm not sure if it's going to benefit anybody beyond the politicians thanks for watching